What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Freak Easy Gaming, and welcome to another Fallout 4 guide. In today's Fallout 4 guide, I am going to be showing you a Fallout 4 exploit to get you unlimited fusion cores and unlimited bottle caps. Now, before the video gets begins any further, I would like to say this is not a glitch, and what I mean by that is that this is an exploit, and it is going to take a little time to earn you uh, your fusion cores and your bottle caps, but you could earn an unlimited amount from it. Now, in 10 minutes, you could earn up to two fusion cores and 500 bottle caps, and within an hour, you can earn 12 fusion cores and a total of 3,000 bottle caps. With that said, let's get straight into the guide. All right, guys, the first place you are going to want to come on your map is a place called Soulfolk County Charter School, which is located way down here at the bottom of your map. Now, I'm going to show you guys Vault 111, just so everybody has a rough idea of where this uh, Soul Folk School is. And here we go. Here is uh, Soul Folk School. Better yet, here is Diamond City. And right here is the Soul Folk County Charter School. Now, once you guys are here at the Soul Folk County Charter School, all you guys are going to do is sort of look at the entrance. And once you see the entrance, all you guys are going to do is turn around. Once you turn around, there will be an enemy here. Now, this enemy will be a sentry bot. Now, if you are a low level, this sentry bot may be tough to beat. Uh, however, it is well worth it once you get what the sentry bot has on him. Now, as you can see, I could take out the sentry bot pretty easily. So, if you guys uh, have a hard time taking out the sentry bot, uh, just level up a few times and then come on back and try this method again. So once you guys kill the sentry ball, all you're going to do is take the fusion cores off of his body. Then you guys are going to take the missiles and everything else he has on his body. Now he has some really good stuff, uh, especially if you're into the crafting system in this game and the settlement building in this game. And also the weapon and armor building in this game. So what, once you guys kill the sentry bot and loot his body, what you're going to do is open up your pit boy And then you're going to head to a place called Good Neighbor, which is located here on your map. And here is Diamond City for reference once again. But once you guys are at Good Neighbor, I will show you what to do. Alright guys, once you are in Good Neighbor, it should look a little something like this. And you should see a sign called Kill or Be Killed. And also a sign called Guns, Guns, Guns. All you guys are going to do is head on into the store. Once you head on into the store, crouch on down behind the vendor here. And hold X on the Fat Man. Do not tap X. Hold X on the Fat Man so you could pick it up and take it upstairs once you guys do that just drop it right there anywhere is good as long as it's upstairs then come back on down and grab the mini nuke do not tap x on the mini nuke hold x on the mini nuke and pick the mini nuke up and bring it up here as you did with the fat man once you guys do that make sure you are hidden and just take these two items once you take these two items head on down here and then what you're going to do is sell the missiles that you looted off the sentry bot's body. And then you guys are also going to sell the fat man along with the mini nuke. So here we go. We are going to go over to my weapons and we are going to sell the fat man. As you can tell, we get 294 for the fat man. However, my uh, barter is kind of high, so you might not as get as much. But you will still get enough to uh, basically make a difference caps-wise. Then you guys are going to go on over to your uh, missiles and look for the missiles. Come on all the way down. Now sell the mini nuke 2 that you just, just looted and sell the 12 missiles. And you could tell we earned 500 caps just like that. Then we're just going to take his caps and be on our merry way. The next step is to head on over to Diamond City. Alright guys, once you are in Diamond City, it should look a little something like this. All you're going to do is run on over this way right and head on in front of the dugout in and sit on this bench here. It doesn't have to be this bench, but I prefer sitting on this bench. Then you guys are going to want to weigh in in-game week. Just one week, a total of seven days, and make sure you wait seven in-game days on this bench. Alright guys, once you have waited seven in-game days, all you're going to do is get up, open your Pip-Boy, and head on back down to Soulfolk County Charter School. Alright guys, now that we are back at Soulfolk County Charter School, after waiting the 7 in-game days at Diamond City, after we fast travel here, all we need to do is line ourselves up with the entrance kind of once again, turn around, and as you guys could tell, right there is the Sentry Bot. 
once you guys see the sentry bot, all you need to do is kill him. Once you kill the sentry bot, stay clear of his body so he doesn't catch you in that explosion. Once you guys kill the sentry bot, all you do is grab the fusion core, the missile, and everything else he has on his body. And basically rinse, wash, and repeat the method I just showed you by going back to good neighbor, uh, then grabbing the fat man, taking it upstairs, and selling it to the vendor. And after that, go back to Diamond City, wait another 7 days, then come back and kill the sentry bot again. And basically just rinse, wash, and repeat the method I showed you. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please drop that like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. If you guys want any more Fallout 4 guides, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will definitely get to those Fallout 4 guides. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.